Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, six losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Jake the Celtic Kid Matthews. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. Right, UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all times. Yeah. 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 If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Side of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Good punch, Land. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Slips. Matthews gets hit with a kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Single collar tie now. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice loop to punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might bring themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now. 
because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Big leg kick land. Nice kick. Then he comes through with a big knee. Ooh, blocks the shot. Very tricky to throw that body kick. Liver kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Look at him drive his shins into his opponent's body with that body. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice body kick right under the elbow. That shot blocked by Matthews. Couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. What a body kick. Oh, strong punch there by Jake Matthews. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All time needs the body. Oh, and he caught the kick. Able inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Body kick is blocked. Stay tight. Stay tight. Get the double leg. Double leg's there. Double leg. Able inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice punch there by Matthews. We got to whip his hip into that kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Jab, snap his head back. His jab hits to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Back and forth we go! Big body kick. Four sounds for the end of round one. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw in the first fight? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make you pause. I believe the jab has been working so well 
If he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. He blocks the punch. Matthews gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Both fighters throwing heat now. Lee gets hit with a kick. It's such a fast leg kick. And he caught the kick. Throws the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Matthews. Just over three minutes now to go. Straight punch lands. Ooh, head kick lands and hurts. And they separate. <laughs> Telegraph that spinning back fist. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice straight punch. Okay. Okay. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Big kick land. Just missed with the left there. Switching stances here. The right hook to the body. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, beautiful knee to the head there. He's the taller fighter. We told you that off the top. And certainly used his length well in that situation. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. He engages in the single collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. A nice jab by Lee. Oh, man, head kick lands. Uses uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Real sneaky body kick. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Beautiful head kick. All oh, collar tie. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Nice straight there by Lee. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Ten seconds to go in the round. Two rounds in the books. All right, five minutes more in the books, and you see the cut on his eyebrow is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash there. The cut man's gonna do what he can, but of course, oftentimes, as soon as you absorb another strike, that thing opens right back up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was gonna be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks 
to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's the when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, high amplitude head kick! He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. Just unable to quite find that range. Sneaky head kick. Matthews is lower John now starting to show signs of swelling. Finish. Nice leg kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, head kick. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Good punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Right hand landed. Lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Unable to connect there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Lands with a right hand. Checks that leg kick. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big head kick land. Beautiful body kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Good stick. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Flips the shot. Pretty good jab there by Matthews. Just missed with that right hand. Matthews' hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. Head kick. Beautiful kick. Nice body kick. That's a good right hand right there. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And there comes the separation now. Another shot lands upstairs. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. There's no kill on that leg. 
Matthews is low and off. Very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Can't take many of those. You better check. Big power shot there. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. It's okay, it's okay. Stay focused. I need you to win this round, boy. He can't even, he can barely stand. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Beautiful body. Right on the Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. such toughness to even be on his feet right now. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Yeah? Ooh, what a punch. Matthews gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Three minutes remain in the round. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there. DC, I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Working out of that southpaw stance. Real nice body kick land. Oh, and he caught the kick. Punch over the top. Under two minutes to go. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just misses with the left hook. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big head kick lands. Nice. Right hand punch from the clinch. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. A little single collar tie there. Look at the turtle in that kick. <laughs> nice punch by Lee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was good night if that landed. 
was lightning fast at right end. Seconds to go. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Luke. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the graphic aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. Big punch landing through the middle. Punch coming, it's blocked. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. He is throwing a fast three car jazz. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Unable to connect with the left. Matthews gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Nice head kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice shot to the body there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Collar tie. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Body kick now by Lee. Try to establish that jab. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, swing and a miss on the counter. Three minutes now to go in this one. All right, well, time is the enemy now. Dean did a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Working out of the half guard here. Gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Under two minutes to go in the fight. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. 
Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Jake Matthews. Nice head kick. Flying knee, and it finds the target. We reference his size advantage off the top, and the taller fighter is able to land him. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Beautiful strike. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big body kick land. Right on the button. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Straight right, he misses. Final seconds of the fight. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. I don't want to steal Bruce Buffer's thunder because he doesn't like that, but... And new UFC champion of the world you're looking at. Yeah, he's the new champ. No matter how you want to look at it, he did enough to take the belt off the champion. He used his striking, his footwork, his beautiful movement in order to confuse the champion over the course of five rounds. He did enough. It's time to strap the belt around his waist. Official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. The winner by unanimous decision. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Jim. So how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet. There he is, the now undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He thought he was going to get the champion out of there tonight. He thought he'd get the finish. Instead, he needs all five rounds to get the job done here tonight. But the judges saw it his way. A monumental result here tonight in Las Vegas as we crown a new.